All right, it is time to try BL2 Reborn. So, I have no clue about anything about this mod, I will be entirely honest. I know it's a little more of a classic mod pack. Initially looking at our character, we've got two different colors of legendaries, which is pretty neat. And the skill tree are a little bit different, but it seems to be a lot of the same skills shuffled around. Okay, so in left tree, we've got sentry, which does sentry stuff, ready does ready, willing is willing, laser sight. I think it doesn't normally buff fire rate, but I think it does here. We've got scorched earth, which also gives us explosive damage, which is pretty cool. Onslaught, which is onslaught, able, resourceful, grenadier, and double up. So this skill tree looks pretty good. Impact, Expertise, Metal Storm, Overload, Longbow Turret, Do or Die, Steady, Duty Calls, Ranger, Battlefront, and Nuke in Middle Tree. And then Healthy, Preparation, Pressure, Last Ditch, Effort, Failing Shield, Maglock, Forbearance, Quick Charge, Grit, Crisis Management, and Gemini over here. Okay, so overall these are still pretty much vanilla trees. It's just that a couple of the Items have been moved around a little bit, and there's a little bit of change to some of the stats, which is interesting. Now, I'm curious about what items we'll find, how, like, unique they will be, uh, class mods and stuff like that, because this is a fairly vanilla skill tree, so I'm wondering if class mods will make up for it. I guess we'll just have to walk forward and find out. I am a little bit curious, though, we do have one point skills here in this middle row, which in previous mod packs has been a skill where you put one point here and then you're immediately sent down to the next tier. So there is a chance we could get three capstones in this mod, just like a couple of the other previous mods. I'm curious about that. That's probably what will happen though. We've got fast opening stuff. Wait, was that? Wait. Okay, it's times two, but it's times two already? And it's times two at all? Interesting. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Okay, looking at this vendor, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Also, it's a lot higher quality as well. So it looks like the quality of items, there's a relic in there. It looks like the quality of items given is also increased. Oh, that gives extra kill skill duration. Ooh, with Onslaught? Oh, okay, that seems pretty cool. Okay, I like a lot of these already. Getting a little bit of XP from DigiPeak here real quick. Probably get level five or six or something and then move on. My ADS movement speed feels better. Oh, because it's the same as my normal walking speed. Ooh. Wait a minute. That's kind of nice. Zooming in might be as fast as sprinting speed. Wait a minute. It might be faster than sprinting speed. Wait a minute. Alright, level 7, I, that's a spitter, okay. So, immediately we noticed that zooming in and walking is the same speed as normal walking speed. So, expertise... Yes, we, we zoom walk faster than we normal walk. Which also means that with the legendary soldier, we might move even faster. Oh, with the sniper, it's even, it's way, way slower. Okay. So it might be, it, it might be very weapon dependent. Which is odd. But with some weapons, we might just move really fast, I guess. A neat little skin. This is just a darker version of the normal skin, pretty much. But fair. Hmm. This looks like weird leather. I'm sure it's supposed to be wood, but it's giving off a leathery vibe. 
which is interesting. It makes it off-putting, which I think bandit weapon should be, so that's kind of neat. All right, turret. You're doing great. Nice. That gave me half of my cooldown back. That feels like a lot more than it should have. I'm not going to complain. I'm just saying, that felt like a lot. All right, Knuckle Dragger versus level seven turret. Oh, the damage numbers are really small. Interesting. Maybe that's a visual quality of life change so you can actually see the enemy you're shooting. That's odd, but okay. Okay, even the vendors here at such a low level are nicer as well. Right? Well, I'm not going to complain. It is a little odd, though. But I'm not going to complain. We have managed to actually fix the damage numbers for realsies this time. And so to do this, we have disabled less dumb visuals. Because apparently that is what is changing it. So to get to that, you go BL2 Reborn Core, Quality of Life, and Fixes, and then less dumb visuals, and then just disable it and press save, and then relaunch the mod. So that seems to give us back our damage numbers at the right size. Wow, only shield? Ooh, wait a minute. This one grants immunity to burn damage, and the middle core is actually red. That's... Kind of cool. I really like that. Huh. That's neat. Cool. Oh, Skyrocket still works. So that's good. Skyrockets. That gave me over half my cooldown back. Hey, a bandit launcher. This early. Cool. And it's got... Oh, okay. Cool. I almost just blew myself up. Let's go, turret. You're doing a good job. Is that a... Okay. So, this is the tinderbox turned into... A two fang pistol with a hundred percent melee damage attachment. That's super nice early if you're a melee player. Yeah, this is yeah, it's a BL1. Yeah, that's super cool. Okay, I, I'm a fan, I like that. And yeah, it's got a really big mag, it's got a high fire rate, it's got that reload speed. The damage is pretty, pretty strong. Probably a little bit too strong in normal mode, but maybe in UVHM this feels fine? I don't know. I like it though. I do like it. I hate this game sometimes, man. You can get your whole turret cooldown back from recalling your turret while it's still at a decent time. They really changed that in a very big way. Let's stop it at three quarters. 100% back. Let's stop it at 50-ish percent. This is close enough. 75% back. Okay. So you're actually really rewarded for recalling turret. This is... A times 12 splat gun. Oh. 
Those are not splats at all. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Weird. All right, let's test out this. This is really strong. Hmm. Okay, so it's no longer a funny glob and it's a little more of a generic gun. But I mean, it's really strong. So yeah, this splasher might actually be kind of nice. Hey, it's Michael. Oh, thanks, Michael. I guess we just have another melee tool. Does this provide lifesteal on melees? Guess we'll find out. Now, I am curious about testing out this sickle to see if it does actually provide lifesteal or anything. We'll let this dude hit us a little bit. No, it does not. Okay. So it shoots in the shape of a sickle. That's what's quirky and unique about this. That's kind of fun. Okay, we have a shotgun damage class mod. So we can become the legendary cat of shotguns. Okay, that's kind of fun. Hmm. I wouldn't normally run a shotgun heavy axe to necessarily, but this would be interesting. This could be kind of fun. Okay, this is more stats than I was expecting. Vitality relics give max health, health regen, and five fear lifetime. And we have an agility relic that provides movement speed and jump height. Sure, I'll take some movement, why not? Oh, no free, let's go. That's fair. It is kind of a, a, a free item. Probably a little bit too much, so. Fair enough. Ooh, the engineer provides extra turret gun damage and fire rate. That's kind of nice. That's kind of good. Here's one. Okay, so the shock trooper still gets onslaught, so we could have funny movement speed with that comm. That would be super duper nice. Oh, he did drop something. The headbanger. Okay, so is this, it's a skull masher sniper barrel. Were you supposed to be a crit monster? Oh, sure. That's a lot of crit. Okay, so we just got a raider class mod and I know we're not Salvador, but a lot of people will run a raider with a fabled tortoise to trigger the movement speed off of it. So it looks like the mod author went ahead and just made that the inherent perk of wearing the class mod. So, fair enough. That's kind of neat. This just feels good. Okay, so if your turret is almost gone and you recall it, it still gives you a crap ton of cooldown back. So it is 100% always worth recalling it no matter what. All right, Wilhelm, you're... Hey, you. Hey, 
Yeah. Oh, jump scare. Okay. Hey, a legendary. The silver wing, it has two barrels, 100% crit, times five. It shoots in the shape of an A or a vault. I'm gonna guess probably a vault symbol. Yeah, that seems to be it. It's cool though. Oh, and this is the perfect tool for farming mutated Varkids too. This mod is just tailored to my gameplay experience. That's all this is. That's nice. Wait. Could I be budget Mr. Torg? Because if throwing turret and then immediately recalling it gives us the whole cooldown back, couldn't we just spam? Nuke might actually be useful in this mod then. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. You can force turret cooldown in the middle of owning a turret just by mashing out a couple of them in a row. Wow. Okay, that's kind of funny. So if you're ever hungry for some turret, you just throw down turret, recall turret, throw down turret, recall it, and then there we go. About half. So if you just spam that out enough, I guess you can force a full cooldown, probably. That's interesting. Okay. And there we go. That's pretty much all we have time for for day one. Already found some pretty interesting objects. Already found some pretty interesting bugs. Pretty cool, overall. We will, of course, have every single capstone and be able to spam out instant nuke turrets as fast as our character's poor little arms can throw them. So, cool, sure, why not? Day one.